Hello everyone, my name is Edwin and today we are going through EM1 Project 2. We have solved the questions 1 and 2. Yay! I shall in the end give a YouTube link when I send the presentation slides to the lecturers. So you will have the link later. Question 1. Express the following in partial fraction form and hence solve the following equation. So first, we write it down and then use the bottom equation and factorize it, making it 2x minus 4 times x plus 3. Next, we write this, express it this way. And times 2x minus 4 times 2, uh, x plus 3. And then you'll get this. 2x plus 2 equals x a x plus 3 plus b 2x minus 4. That x equals plus 2. And we get this. And we find that a equals 5.2. So now let's try to find for b, the x minus b minus 3, get this sorted out, 16 equals minus 10b, divide, equals minus 1.6. Next step, we write it down in fraction form and express it this way. And now we write it that way and times again 2x minus 4 times x plus 3 and we shall get this very long equation so are you with me 2x plus 22 equals 13x square minus 13x minus 36 and if we push the 2x plus 2, any 2, to the right hand side, we'll get this and make a quadratic formula from which we can solve. We reject the negative as a fraction cannot have a negative number on its bottom. So we accept the positive. That's the end for question 1. Okay, welcome back. Now we are doing question 2. I'm not going to read this, but you can see it here. Um, but here we go. So, firstly, I did the... <clears throat> excuse me. I first firstly did the parameter. And I get this. I will call this my first equation. And I did the same way for area. And that's my second equation. I take the perimeter equation, equation 1, and equal it to pi plus 2, which is mentioned in the question that perimeter of the plot of land is pi plus 2 kilometers. Next, I push all the y to the right hand side, and I get this. Next, I multiply by 2 on both sides, getting this, removing the half from the 2x plus pi x, and, and I get a 4 on the right hand side, which I will shift it to the left, and remove the negative 2 from the y, making this equation which I call equation 3. Now I can substitute the y in my equation 1, the perimeter equation, with equation 3. Now we get x equals um, two numbers. Which one should I choose? I say the positive one 
as we can't have a negative distance. So you accept the positive and reject the negative. Next, to find y, I get my x, substitute the x, and we find y. And then we use our equation, equation 2, to find the area, and we get 1.7703842. And then we do the same way, but with the area they gave us in the question. 4 minus pi, x minus x squared, plus half pi. Substitute the x and we get this and they are both the same. So this is the proof. For B is quite simple. This is the most um, maximum size we can have x and y. For C to get the area in terms of pi what I did here was express it by x x times pi equals 1.77 you do a bit of division and you will find that x equals 0 0.56353079 and we express it this way and that's our answer thank you very much for watching this and god bless